Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to create the new 2016 Instagram logo in Adobe Illustrator. So to start with, I've created a new document. I'm going to select the rectangle tool, left click and hold shift to draw a square. We're going to swap the fill and the stroke and then just select the stroke and remove that so we don't have any outline on our shape. We're then going to left click on these inner handles and just drag those towards the center to quickly round off the edges of this shape. So about there. Then we're going to select the shape, go up to edit, copy, and then edit, paste in place. Let's give this a different color for now. And we're just going to hold shift and alt and scale this down towards the center. And then we can swap the fill and the stroke. I'm actually going to make this white, I think. And then we can increase the weight of our stroke. So something like this. Then we can select our ellipse tool and left click and hold shift to draw a circle and it will remember that same stroke weight. And what we can do at this point is we can select absolutely everything and in our alignment options at the top here, we can align it horizontally and vertically. So this circle is perfectly in the center of everything else. And then again with the ellipse tool, just left click and hold shift to draw another smaller circle. This is representative of the flash in the new logo. And we can just swap that fill and the stroke to create something like this. So there we go, we've created the basic part of the new Instagram logo. What we can do is at the moment all these stroke widths are editable. So it's quite good to keep that. So we'll pop this over here to one side. So then what I'm going to do is just left click and hold Alt and Shift and we'll drag a copy back onto our artboard to continue working on. So if we go up to Object, down to Expand, that's with all of this shape selected. Leave Fill and Stroke selected and click OK. If you press Command Y on the Mac or Control Y on the PC, you should have something that looks like this, very clean and tidy. And we can now select everything and hold Alt and Shift to drag over here and create a copy. Now let's select all of these white parts of the logo by holding Shift. And in the Pathfinder palette on the right, click the top left one, which is Unite. Now this will be recognized as one shape in Illustrator. And if we select the fill, we can just color that black, select the border around the edge and hit Backspace or Delete. And we're left with the Instagram symbol itself. Now that's fine for that one. This one on the right is going to be the app icon that has a bit more color to it. So before starting this tutorial, what I did was source the new logo online and then using the eyedropper tool over here, go through and just sample the main colors that make up the app icon. So we've got the blue, the purple, the pink, orange, and yellow colors. So these are all swatches that I've created here. So I'll just double click these so you can see the values if you want to follow along with this tutorial. So we've got the blue. Here are the RGB values. We've got the purple, the pink, orange, and yellow. Now I appreciate that was quite quick, but if you want to see the RGB values and follow along with the tutorial, feel free to pause the video at any time. So what we can do now is start to add the color to this black part of the shape. So let's select this 
And if we click expand panels here, just because sometimes it's easier to have the swatches and the gradient slider visible at the same time. So to start with, if we select the purple to color the shape as a whole, in fact, I'm going to drag this purple into the center of the gradient slider. Let's position that at around 50%. Then I'm going to drag the blue onto the left swatch and the pink onto the right one. I'm going to adjust the angle. Let's try, let's try minus 80. minus 75. This may take a little bit of adjusting just to get that blue color to appear in the top corner and to graduate through to the pink more magenta color in the bottom right. So I'm fairly happy with that. Now the next thing to do is select the ellipse tool and left click and hold shift to create a circle. And we're going to fill this circle with orange. Let's just bring that up a little bit. And if we go up to Effect, down to Blur and Gaussian Blur, we can specify a radius. Now, one thing I have noticed, if you make the radius too high, you get these very hard edges on the edge of your blur, and that's not ideal. So if we keep the radius to around, let's try 20. There we go, that seems to be okay and we'll make that a little bit bigger. And then we can go to edit with that orange blurred circle selected, click on copy and paste in place. And we can then select the yellow and hold shift and alt to scale that down towards the center. Next, we can left click on the app outline shape itself and then hold shift to select the orange and the yellow blurred circles and if we go to edit copy edit paste in place hold shift on the keyboard and the down arrow we can move this out of place now it's sometimes a good idea to use this method because you can move this out of place you can make your edits and then you could hold shift and up and you know that when you move it back it will go into the exact same position so if we hold shift and left click on the orange and the yellow, we're going to go to object and group these together. Then left click on the app outline itself, go to object, arrange and bring to front. Make sure that this is on top. And then if we drag over everything, so we've got the two gradients as one grouped item, and then we have the app outline here. We want to go to object, clipping mask and make. And when we click this, it will crop the gradients that we've grouped together inside this shape, the rounded rectangle, the big square. There we go. And what we can do is we can, we can move these original ones that we created. We can move those out of the way for now. And then select the clipped gradients and hold shift and use the up arrow key and what we're going to do is it will nudge that back into the exact position that it needs to be. Now it is currently on top of the icon, that's not ideal. So if we go to object, down to arrange and send backwards, note the shortcut here. And then you can just keep pressing that shortcut, sending it back until it is actually behind the Instagram icon itself. And we can double click that and go back into it and we can adjust the gradient further if we like. So I'm just going to bring this orange out a little bit more and just fine tune that so that it reflects the gradients used in the new logo. And then we can click this back arrow here to come out of the clipping group. And there we go. We've created the new 2016 Instagram logo in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.